Welcome to Introduction to Alexandria. After conquering Egypt in 331 BCE, Alexander the Great decided to build a new city, which, as per his habit, he named after himself. After his death, Alexandria quickly became the capital city of the Ptolemaic Kingdom and the most important city of the Greek world. The city was built between the Mediterranean Sea and Lake Mariotis, which resulted in Alexandria becoming a crucial cultural hub and trading center. Sumptuous buildings could be seen wherever one turned their gaze. The royal palaces, the many temples, the gymnasium, lush public gardens, and large avenues. With its incomparable beauty and advantageous geographic location, Alexandria attracted foreigners, intellectuals, and traders. One of the most cosmopolitan cities of the ancient world, Alexandria supplanted even Athens as the most important Greek city in history. Egyptian obelisks were highly prized by Roman architects. While Roman design previously favored the use of a single monument, Egyptian obelisks tended to come in pairs and were generally located at the entrance of temples. Several ancient Egyptian obelisks are still in existence today, though many are spread out across the world in locations such as Paris, Rome, New York, and London. All of this shows that Alexandria was significantly influenced by the rich past of Egypt. <laughs> Alexandria had several main streets. Its most famous artery was the Canopic Way. It was lined with sumptuous buildings, houses, and temples, and was roughly eight kilometers in length. This street was one of the most important shipping entrances to Alexandria and often hosted processions and festivals. The width of the street, 30 meters, was abnormally large even by Greek standards. This is likely because the Canopic Way was made in a short span of time and based on an urban plan, as opposed to being slowly built over time, as was usual for the era. The Canopic Way originated in the western cemeteries, skirted the gymnasium, and then exited the city to head east through massive doorways towards Canopus. This structure was known as the Canopic Door.
Welcome to the Hippodrome of Alexandria. The main Hippodrome of the city was called the Legeon, in honor of Lagos, the ancestor of the Ptolemies. Alexandrians were great lovers of horse racing. They were fascinated by the rivalry of these races. The Agon, as it was said at that time, that every competition brought. It was a struggle for glory. The most important chariot race was the Tethrapon. Using four horses with the quickest harness to the front right, the charioteer would race for 12 laps with sharp turns at either end of the hippodrome. The victors were crowned with garlands of olive and received prize money, but the most sought after reward was to be acclaimed by the works of poets such as Callimachus and Pindar. Ye hymns that rule the lyre, what god, what hero, I, and what man shall we loudly praise? Verily Zeus is the lord of Pisa, and Heracles established the Olympic festival, while Theron must be proclaimed by reason of his victorious chariot with its four horses, Theron, who is just in his regard for guests, and who is the bulwark of Akragas, the choicest flower of an auspicious line of sires, whose city towers on high, bringing wealth and glory to crown their native merits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 